Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Barquis Meto in Venezuela. It's Guados de Lara, the host of Group F, getting ready to take on Franco Basketball Club of Brazil. And it's Guados. Now, they have so many Venezuelan internationals that won this summer's FIBA Americas Championship to qualify for the Olympics, including that man right there. And they won the opening top. They are in the dark. And Franca are in the white. But as you can see right now, there is a lot of energy in this building. And it should be a good one. Heisler again. Now into the corner. Into Coleman, or, or no, sorry, into Etchenique for the dunk. So good start for Guados. Nazinho, little one footed jump shot. Now Be Bethlehem drills the three. A lot of people say that this is the team to beat here. Guados, led by Nestor Che Garcia, the coach. And they've got a confident gait about them right now. A lot of singing. Again, brings it up the floor. Bethlehem, 
Dumps down low. Beautiful play. Vargas finishes. Zinho. Tiago has it taken away by Gant. Three on one break. Vargas puts it up and in. Nine to nothing. And Franca are going to call timeout. out here and get a win on opening night against this team. Uh, but he doesn't want his team to get run out of the gym, that's for sure. Only one team is going to advance from Group F uh, to the final, obviously. It's not like in years gone by where you had a, a final four to end things. This year you've got two teams in the final, a best of three final, Unite Brasilia and the winner of this group. And I tell you what, Guardos have started out red hot. Going gets it inside, and Tiago goes up for the strong move. And at last, Franca, something positive happens for them in this game. Now the captain, Guillant, brings it up the floor for Guados. Into the corner. Spin. Definitely missed, but Echenique with the rebound. Three-pointer is good from Bethlehemy, so he's come out stroking the three. Tiago. Back out to Nazinho. Three-point attempt, and Echenique couldn't get it, but the ball hit out of bounds. So Ferreira, so far off target. Vargas comes out, catches a breather. And he's replaced. Let's see. By David Noel. David Noel starting in the group stages, but he's coming off the bench here. And the shot, and the block, and the foul. So that one causes a lot of problems. Offensive foul called on Franca. Tiago came up to set the high pick. Watch this. And he just kind of slid into him. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm in total agreement with that call, but if that's how they're going to call it tonight, as long as they call it on both ends.
Yeah, had the ball knocked out of his hands. Carlos will maintain possession. Borges has come into the game. Number four. He's on the ball. Now here's Guillen. Kicks it back outside. And this time the three is out. David Noel couldn't get his hands on it. He couldn't corral it. Knocks it out of bounds. Now three point attempt. And Bethlehem brings it back for Guados. He puts up a three. That's good. 17 to 2. That's what he was doing at the FIBA Americas Championship against Canada and then Argentina. And Venezuela won the title. Mazzino. Borges. This is badly. Off and running. And the layup. And they are just thrashing Franco basketball right now, 19 to 2. Pass to Tiago, gets it back out. Ferreira drives in. And Echenique affected the shot. Bethlehem now across midcourt. Spins, puts it up, and in! 19 points now the advantage. Mazzino, Tiago with the rebound. And the jump shot, finally. Will it stop the bleeding, though, from Ferreira? That's his first make. As they're getting hit with the turnover, and then the foul, and I think uh, Little Ferreira is clutching his straws asking for an unsportsman like there on Bethlehem. I'm not going to get that. Well, actually, that's a good point. It looks like he really made a huge play on the ball. The little Toro. Coach. In fact, they did call the unsportsman light. So well spotted by the ref. They misidentified Wilkins earlier. He's got four points. Corner. Three pointer no good, but the long rebound back to Franco basketball. Carlos Gonzalez. Mazzino. Another short little runner. Puts it up and in. And now needless turnover by Fisher. And Ferreira. It's for space. It's in the lane. Back outside. Mazzino. Bounce pass. Oh, a little bit of a, a walk there. Nope. They're going to call the foul. So an and one coming. Foul on Noel. David Noel. Schneider, excuse me, Kurtz, gets to the line for an M1. Well, now Franco, Franco Basketball Club showing some signs of life. Pass with a backdoor cut. 
And Pace. Wendy Gradrol's basket takes the, the lead back up to 12. And now the pass goes off of Franco Basketball's hands and back over to Guaros. Intercepted. Getting a little sloppy. So Gratterall gets his first foul. Also, Mr. Colmenares is in the game. So 43. Well, how big was Gratterall to the American Championship? He was tremendous, wasn't he? Venezuela. That's what's Colmenares. Correa. And Gratrual with the rebound. Now Kubian, David Kubian. And traveling is the call. out of his hands well, the kicking has been called kicking has been called on the opposition in Franco Operate down low, Straps gets it back, gives it to Gratterall, who puts it up and in with the shot clock down to about three seconds. 14 points to lead, Gratterall's first basket of the game. And Guados have 25 points already in the first quarter. Now in transition, here's Kubian back to Gretherall, he missed, but Colmenares followed and then has the ball knocked out of. So missed opportunity. An unsportsmanlike foul has been called on Kubian. He went up to deny Gonzalez, Isaac Gonzalez, and an unsportsmanlike. Well, yeah, you can see how he came down hard on him. That's a great call by the referee. He got some ball, but, you know, you cannot come down that hard, especially when a player is getting ready to leave his feet. Garcia over there just kind of takes it in his stride. And why shouldn't he? His team's up. Isaac Gonzalez makes one of two.
So the final minute of the first quarter that has been really ruled by the home team, Guaros. They lead it by 13. Coutinho. And the drive is good. So Gonzalez floats in for, for a bucket that cuts that deficit back to 11. Ten on the shot clock. Cominares kind of lost it a little bit. Kubian. And right at the end of the shot clock and the, almost a game clock. And that's how it finishes. Guado Stilara. They're up by bigger. They go to the huddle up by 11. Well, Franca 0 of 7 from three-point range. Guados, meanwhile, have hit three. And Guados also shooting 70% inside the arc. Thelmy has eight points to lead the scores. Guaros de Lara leading it by 11. They were, they were on top by as many as 19 points. So Franco Basketball Club has been able to cut it back a little bit, but still down by double digits. Thiago, Matias, Boris, Gonsalves, uh, Nazinho, and Kurtz on the floor for Franco Basketball Club. Nazinho was a tough pass for Thiago to try to handle. Oh, nice pass back from Giant over to Batelmi. Well, team likes to get out on the open floor. Guaros. Now a foul called on Guaros, fighting for position. Guevara that picked up the foul. And now Tiago gets the foul, battling for the rebound.
Minute into the second quarter. Bellamy. Navarro passes to Wilkins. Wilkins gets some space, passes back outside to Bethelme for three! Wow, 16 points now is the lead. 13 points for Bethelme. He's got three three-pointers already. With seven seconds on the shot clock here. Good defense from Guevara. You can see Nestor Che Garcia is liking the defense that his team is playing. Well, they're not going to get the shot off. Great defense from Guaros de Lara. And Barquisimeto. Roared on by this incredible uh, group of fans. Etchimike. Pump fake, puts it up, and urges a trip to the free throw line. Echenique makes one of two. And look how quickly that lead gets back up to 17. Borges has to shoot up. Oh, Nazinho. And the, the players looking around like what happened? I don't think what happened to hit a three-pointer. And Gant drills the three again. Excuse me, that was a two, but hits the open jump shot. Inside the Kurtz. Oh, that was a strong move from Kurtz. The bar is three, no good. Now Mazzino. Puts up a three. Good. That's back to an 11 point lead. Eyes again, splits the defense, passes back out. Wide open three pointer. And this time. Franco Basketball Club come away with the rebound. Oh, the good pass down low. Tiago goes up for the dunk. Now back to single digits. Eisler Gant. Five on the shot clock. Well, he just has a way of evading the defense. Guevara puts up a three. Hits it! But 
just when it seemed like this Franco basket was playing a little bit better defense. Grados went out and hit a long jump shot, but now that man right there, Kurt, starting to become a factor down low. Guevara flies down, gets it to Echenique, who draws the foul. Wendy Gratterall back into the game. For Guados. And he makes the first one. Excuse me, Etchenike makes the first one. This is the second. Well, how about that? Broaders have it back. Gian for three. And a foul on Etchenike. You can see the looks of uh, concern on the face of Nazinho and there, Lula Ferreira. Interior pass and the finish. And Kurtz is, uh, is earning his living down low right now. He's been affected. To a nine point deficit. Sadiqa drives in and draws the foul. Chinike was two of four, now he is four of six at the charity strike. Cominaris is back into the game. And a good defensive pressure there, almost forced another turnover. down to five three-pointer and rebound Coleman artist for Guados David could be in got to roll now Frank a basket Frank a basketball club Inside and Kurtz have been so effective, but he misses that one.
Well, the referee signals over to the bench. Uh, Franco Basketball Club tells the players to sit down. All of the coach should be up. Lula Ferreira. Under three minutes to go now in the first half. And Vargas. Vargas goes to work. Colmenares puts up a three. A strong rebound from Franco Basketball. Treatment over there. He's okay. Nice drive from Borges. Excuse me, that was Schneider. Schneider with the drive. Back to a nine point deficit. That's a roll. Five on the shot clock. And good play from Humphreys. Just reaches in and takes it away. He tries to make a good bounce pass. It hits off a broadest defender, goes out of bounds. Oh, good defense and almost a steal. But Grafferall couldn't come up with it in the end. Beautiful pass, but Kurtz couldn't finish. And now. Vargas goes up for the snowbird for the open layup. And nobody got back for Franco basketball. Timeout on the floor. Well, let's see what kind of thrills and spills the end of this first half has in uh, store for us. Minute and a half remaining. Franco Basketball Club would dearly love to chip away. Pass inside to Kurtz. He was blocked from behind by Grafferall. And that leads to another snowbird, another layup. And the lead. Instead of being nine, is now 13. Four point swing. Here's the penetration, the drive, and just shot it over the basket, did Humphreys. Well, Kurtz has been down low. He's had some opportunities. Humphreys, and they both come away with nothing. And all you can say is this crowd just keeps getting louder and louder here in Barquisimeto. 
Prominaris dumps it to Vargas. Drew the double team, well coached team. Carnero puts up a three, that's good. It's a 12 point game now. Guados should get the last shot. Cominares went in, was denied. The ball goes out of bounds with one second on the clock. And Guados will inbound it. No, before that, they're going to talk about it. See if they can get a good, a good shot. Timeout. Well, let's see what we're going to get here for the final shot. Even if they get a shot, there's one second. They'd like to get something going to the basket, but they could take a three. And they get a wide open three from David Noel. I'm not sure if he got it off in time, but he didn't make it anyway. So, at halftime, Guado Stelada lead it by 12 points. And I suppose they would settle for that.
45-33, Guados de Lara on top of Moji Das Cruz of Brasilia here. The fans of Guados elated. Still a lot of them flying high from the summer when some of these players uh, helped their national team win the FIBA Americas Championship. Inside they go, and already a strong move from Wilkins. He's now got six points, but then a very easy one as well for Franco Basketball Club at the other end. And that was Gonzalez. Cominares gets it, spins, and Kurtz gets the block. And just before the shot clock expired, uh, the shot went up. Ibn Goy has been extremely quiet today. Pereira as well. Here's Mazzino. Well, that's his shot. Lift one leg, stay on the ground. I suppose in a way it's uh, it's often a set shot, a one-footed set shot, although he's kind of moving. Pass goes back outside to Wilkins. And he was fouled by Ferreira. and Pominaris called it with his big strong hands and drew the foul. He's always picked up the foul. He's played a huge part in this uh, Moji Daskuz's team staying in the game. I mean, they were really threatening, they were threatening getting get blown out. The player that hasn't been a factor tonight, who was in the group stage, is Schneider. He's got two points. He's only played eight. He's played eight and a half minutes. The 
throw is good. One, one free throw good up to 48 40. Low and big Isaac Humphreys goes up. That's two more to his tally. Now quickly, the three falls for Guados. And the three falls as well for Franco basketball. Nazinho goes to 15 points. He's got three three-pointers. Well, they're just trading threes now, folks. Fisher now with eight points. Two consecutive threes. And then Kurtz just falls over. Here's Fisher again. And the soft rim. Etzanika goes up, gets the rebound, draws the foul. Well, you can see by the look on Ferreira's uh, face and how he's talking to the referee that he completely disagreed with that call. But it looked like as he went up for the rebound, his hand came across the face of Echenique. But how good can Echenique become? I mean, he's, he's a vital player. And he's a national team player. It seemed like their chances uh, of, of doing something the summer of Venezuela's national team really took a hit when he got injured, but they were able to overcome his loss. Puts up a jumper. I mean, he might make that shot, but there's no way that's a good shot. <laughs> that was just ridiculous. Wilkins at the back of the rim. Echenique battling for the ball and coming over the back. It goes back over now to Moji. is going to come Etchenique come out of the game he's not in foul trouble Just, uh, coach wants to shake things up here four and a half minutes into the third quarter Great read from Heisler Gant. Ball goes out of bounds. Almost had an interception. Five seconds on the shot clock. And the shot was no good. They were able to get off a decent shot, in fact. Uh, but Mazzino was off target. Fisher. Entry pass to Colmenares. Takes the contact. And I'll tell you what, Ferreira has been flirting with a technical, and he's just picked up one. He simply cannot show up the referee like that. If he disagrees with it, watch this. I mean, that's a foul. I mean, you know, there's contact.
you can understand why the referee has made the, the call. And, you know, maybe Guardos will not make the free throw, and it won't, it won't punish him quite as much. But the thing is, now I'm thinking, if he was in shooting motion, it's three free throws and the ball. So this could potentially cost them as many as four points if they were to make a technical free throw. Then, then the other two free throws and then a three-pointer. One of the challenges of, uh, of a basketball player, you got to keep your motions in check. is taking the free throws for a foul on the shot who makes one of two and now Fisher will take the technical free throw boy he's been hot in this half hasn't he he's been as hot as the weather It's hot. So, so that's one point that has cost him. And that's two more. And indeed, it could end up being four points that it will cost him with a three point play the old fashioned way. And Fisher is really showing what he is all about. This guy is electric. And the free throw is good, so the technical foul did indeed cost Guaros, excuse me, cost uh, Moshi four points. The lead has ballooned to 61-45. Kurtz, oh, brilliant move from Kurtz. Didn't have much arc on the shot, but he drew the foul. And he now has a chance for a three-point play. So the three-point play gets it back to 61-48. to the other end, Mazzino. Since emergency, all of a sudden you can see it. And Mosey, oh, what a pass from Nazinho. A little bit of showtime. And that pass was dangerous. In the end, David Noel puts up a three, misses. Schneider has it. Mazzino. The captain shakes and bakes, gets in the lane, passes back outside to Irigoyen. Good! And that three-pointer cuts it back to an eight-point depth. So... Nestor Che Garcia has called timeout.
Well, back to live action. It's 61-53 in favor of Guados, but this Franco basketball club, even though it looked like they'd imploded with a technical foul, have come right back and cut it to eight. Wendy Gratterall for three. That's good. Well, he had his feet set. Coming right at the timeout. That makes Che Garcia look pretty smart, doesn't it? Is that what he drew up? Well, only they know. Three pointers on the night for Guados. Zinho to his left. Now inside. Oh, what an interesting shot that was. So Dimitrio, four points for him. Was he trying to? Dig in with the zone and a needless turnover off the hands of Fisher. Well, maybe the pressure is starting to get to this uh, Guados team just a little. Schneider gets inside, misses. That was a big miss. Now David Noel. Well, that's either a foul. That has to be a foul. That that is incredible. <laughs> that was like a, a full-blown bump to get him out of bounds. Well, I, I can't believe a foul wasn't called there. Snyder goes up, has the shot blocked. Oh, and then the Cardinal sin. Fisher throws it under the boundary, under his own basket, and leads to another Demetrio basket, and it's a seven-point lead. And suddenly, this crowd grows a little quiet. Well, that three-pointer was timely by Beth Elmy. Takes it back to a 10 point lead. Mazzino right at the buzzer. Nope. And that triggers a break. And Bethelme gets it to Fisher. Then Fisher finds his man down low. Back out to Bethelme. Takes a three. It's good. Oh, I take it through. I take it two when you can take it three. And all of a sudden, that lead has ballooned back to 13. Schneider gets in the lane, puts it up, misses everything. And fortunately for him, Kirch was there to bail him out. And then Nazino comes up, makes the steal. Careless, careless play by Guados. Dimitrio puts it up. And that's how it finishes the third quarter. So Moji, Das Cruces. Well, they're hanging around. Uh, but they've got a lot of work to do if they're going to still overhaul this deficit. Well, 
was in the paint 32 to 26 in favor of Franco Basketball Club. But Uniteo BRB Brasilia already final. Which team is going to join them? Guardos lead at 70 to 59. Foul. Turns it over. Kurtz picks it up. He has words with the referee. I'll tell you, this home court advantage is huge for this uh, Guados team. You can feel it. Whenever they need to lift, the crowd is there. Kobian puts up a three. And Tabar back into the game now. For Guados. And almost a steal there for Bethany. Nazinho drives in, puts it up and in. Nineteen points for him. Gretherall, four on the shot clock, has to take a tough three. Good! Boy, he really is a good three-point shooter, isn't he? Two of three. His performance this summer was no fluke against Canada and Argentina. And he shot lights out. Irigoyen drives in, puts it up and in. Moji Das Cruz sticking around. Gratherall, another long jump shot. Three pointers. And now a needless turnover. Mazzino trying to get the ball to Isaac Gonsalves. Very even in terms of bench production tonight for both these teams.
Gratterall. Boy, the Wendy Gratterall show is all of a sudden uh, showing here. Three consecutive baskets from him. Zinho quickly puts up a three. Gets it back to an 11 point deficit. Moji uh, cannot afford to trade baskets, though. They've got to get some stops. Great defense from Gonsalves. He played well in the first half. Here he is making a play. Twenty points for Nazinho dos Santos. Four of seven from the arc. That last three. That was his. Here's Kurtz. And this is one that he should have had, but Dimitri was there. But Dimitri has looked good since he's come in off the bench. Kubion. And Bethlehem misses Anazinho. Gets it to Curtis, and this time he puts it up and in to a seven point game. And no doubt this crowd well, starting to get a little nervous here. Does somebody have a, an answer on this possession? To be in, misses badly. I think Che Garcia needs to get a timeout. Alves for three. Rebound. Kurt has uh, the shot affected. It'll be going with the rebound into Demetrio, and he puts it up and in. And now it's a five point lead. And Garcia is not getting a timeout. Vargas. Kabean passes over to Bethlehem. And long shot, no good from Vargas. And suddenly, uh, Grados are facing a little bit of adversity in this game with five minutes remaining. Perhaps a, a couple of quick shots went up. But they've gotten he Heisler again back in, Corey Fisher, David Noel. Wholesale substitutions here. I just wonder if Garcia has uh, left it a little bit too late. Should he have put him in earlier? But Janike is back in as well. They're exposed underneath without Echenique. It'll go in though, drives in. Boy, he had a shot he could have made there. Bullet was dodged. Hesla Gayant puts it up and David Noel puts it in. Alley -oop. is being pressured out on the perimeter. 4.30 remaining. Ken Moji, keep the momentum going, or is this going to be it with Venezuela's uh, majority of their starters back in the game? Wilkins as well as back in. Zinho for three. Good! Golly! He is just carrying his team on his back. Incredible. 23 points, five three-pointers. That is what you call experience and shit. Echenique now. Heisler Guillen, he puts up a three. Rims out. It'll be going now on the open floor. Gets it to Gonzalez, puts it up and in. It's a two-point game. And Che Garcia has to call timeout. Boy, they have not been able to pull away. Franco Basketball Club have reeled them right back in. Just a two-point game.
Well, coming out of the timeout, great play. Fisher inside and puts it up off the glass and in. Now goes and off the hands of Gonzalez and back over the Guaros. And the crowd hoping that another technical is going to be called. Mazzino saying the shirt was being tugged. Oh, they have called the technical foul on, Go on Gonzalez. Unbelievable. Well, perhaps that's a little bit of justice because, in a sense, you hate to see the technical call at this stage of the game. I'm not sure what he said. Although, to be fair, the referee didn't look like anything bad had taken place uh, for the player to get that type of reaction. Colmenares, Echenique, coming up on the three-minute mark here in the game. Wilkins, pump fake. Up, and Echenique scraps for the ball, puts it up, and earns a trip to the line. Echenique makes the first one. Two big free throws made by Echenique. And it's a six point lead with three minutes remaining. Mazzino has just been utterly brilliant tonight. We'll see if he can find some space to launch another three. Yes, he does. But he missed badly that time. Fisher, the outlet pass to Gant. There's Gant. Gets inside, hands it off to Echenique, and he's fouled by Kurtz. Well, it's getting a little bit lively in here. Fans wanted an unsportsmanlike foul. As it is, that's the five. Yeah, that's close to being unsportsmanlike as well. Well, Kurtz has played well overall tonight. He's going to have to take a seat. Well, there's no doubt about the foul by Kurtz, but I think he's just disappointed right now where the where the game is because uh, 
you know, the team has made a great comeback. But to be fair to the refs, you know, Frank are kind of clutching at straws because they wanted a foul that, you know, on Gonsalves that should have been called to put him on the line, but it didn't look like there had been one. And then that led to a technical free throw, which Hesler Gant missed. Well, timeout. Frank, a basketball club, head to the bench. And listen to Coach Lula Ferreira. Well, 84-77. Moses got to get a get a move on. Coming up on the two and a half mark, two and a half minute mark in the game. Gonzalez gets it to Nazinho. He gets it back outside to Irigoyen, and Colmenares gets the rebound. Now Gant's going to take his time. It would appear. Hits to Echenique, and there you have it. Another N1 opportunity. And with Irigoyen missing the three, and the Venezuelan, the Venezuelan club, Garros, answering at the other end, it's looking more and more like this Guado's team is going to get a win. Echenique does not convert the three-point play opportunity, but it's still a nine-point lead. San Martin won earlier tonight. Good strong move from Gasalves just does not finish. Up to Echenique quickly, and that could just about do it. Well, very impressive, first of all, to me, how Che Garcia didn't panic. This Moji team cut it to two. He called the timeout. And they came out and scored immediately and just kept it together. Irigoyen has the ball taken away, and it's going to go over to Guaros. Nazinho thinks it should be his team's ball. Well, you feel for Nazinho because he couldn't have done anything else tonight. He's been absolutely brilliant with the 23 points, nine assists, five three-pointers. But basketball is not a one-man game.
And now Irigoyen has picked up a technical. So really. You know, you're playing in hostile territory. Things are not going your way. You've got to keep your composure. I, I don't I wouldn't say that's what has lost them this game though, but it, it certainly uh, illustrates how difficult it is to play here in Lara and Barquisimeto. So the foul is committed. For the free throws, a technical and possession. And when you look at this result tomorrow, you're going to think, all oh, right, they won comfortably. Guaros. But in fact, they had a real fight on their hands. You know, this Moji team cut it to two points. Cut the deficit to two points. And another bounce pass inside to Echenique. And he keeps racking up the numbers. 17 now for him. Franco Basket Club, you're getting blown out by this stage. You haven't scored in nearly four minutes. You call timeout. I guess maybe because you just don't want this thing to get completely ugly, although it's almost ugly here in the last couple of minutes. So the potential goal differential or point differential, whatever you want to call it, you know, you never know. It could come into play, and by virtue of this huge win now, that's only going to help Guados. It's going to hurt Franca Basket Club. Franca Basketball Club. It dribbles around up top. Foul called on Schneider. So Gia, one of the Venezuelan national team stars, makes the first one. And the second, he really is control in control when he's out there on the court, isn't he? Final 23 seconds. Mazzino puts it up and gets another two points for him. So 25 points now. And it's a 16 point deficit. And it could be this is what we'll settle for. Wilkins has it. Nope, he's going to take a three. And the ball goes out of bounds with four seconds left. Goes back over to Frank of basketball. Salvis has time over to Schneider in the corner and the ball rims out. So that's how 
finishes, folks. A convincing win. Well, convincing over the last few minutes anyway. 95-79, Guados de Lara win it over Franca Basketball Club. Thanks for watching, everybody.